This video explains how to change the y-axis limits of a box plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data frame called data is appearing at the top right and if you click on this data set a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see we have created a data frame containing two columns called values and groups whereby the first column contains numeric values and the second column is a group indicator. Now, if we want to draw these data in a box plot using base R, we can simply use the box plot function, as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new box plot is drawn. However, you can also see that the limits of the y-axis correspond to the default specifications of the box plot function. So if we want to change these limits manually, we can use the ylim argument, as you can see in lines 9 to 11 of the code. So in lines 9 to 10, I'm basically using the same syntax as in lines 6 and 7. However, then I'm also specifying the ylim argument to be equal to a lower limit of minus 4 and an upper limit of plus 7. So after running lines 9 to 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, this time we have increased the y-axis limits to a range from minus 4 to plus 7. In this first example, I have explained how to change the y-axis limits of a box plot in a base R plot. However, we can also change the y-axis limits in a ggplot2 plot. And this is what I will show you in the next part of the tutorial starting in line 13 of the code. So as a first step we need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 13 and 14. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 14 of the code. And then we can create a box plot as you can see in lines 16 to 19 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new plot object called ggp is created. And we can draw this plot by running line 20 and then you can see our box plot in this typical ggplot2 style that you might already know from previous videos. And you can also see that once again the y-axis limits of this box plot have been set to the default y-axis range. So if we want to change this range manually we can use the ylim function as you can see in lines 22 and 23. So first we need to specify our plot object that we have created before and then we need to add to this the ylim function and within the ylim function we need to specify the limits. So once again I'm using the limits minus 4 and plus 7. So after running these lines of code you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated and this time the limits have been specified manually. Alternatively to the ylim function, we can also use the cohort Cartesian function, as you can see in lines 25 and 26. And then within the cohort Cartesian function, we need to specify the ylim argument. And we need to set this argument to the ranges that we want to use. So after running lines 25 and 26, the same plot is recreated. So in this case, it doesn't matter if you use the ylim function or the cohort Cartesian function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.